Good day, I am Nor Amira Batabor Sarangani. Today, I will be discussing the summary of the German literature, Habilangin Lied. Grimhild is the sister of renowned King Gander, who ruled from Worms beside the Rhine and are served by many proud knights. Siegfried, the hero of the Nebilangin Lied, hears about Grimhild and decides to woo her. Three tend to invade Burgundy, Siegfried offers to go to war on Gander's behalf. Throughout the festival, Siegfried and Grimhild spend time together in public. Under that for one another, develops. Meanwhile, Gander develops feelings for Brunhild, an Icelandic queen, who is both beautiful and, in and incredibly powerful. To win her love, a knight must defeat her in three athletic contests or lose his head. Brunhild proves to be a formidable opponent, while Gander merely goes through the motions. Siegfried put on his magical invisibility cloak, which gives him extra strength. And she thinks Gander defeats her, not knowing it was Siegfried who accomplished all of those feats. Brunhild is furious, but she agrees to marry him. When the party arrives back in Burgundy, Siegfried reminds Gander of his oath, and Siegfried and Grimhild are married. Despite the songs and festivities, Brunhild is sad and angry for her husband for handing his sister to a vassal. She ties Gander up in her girdle and hangs him on a nail out of rage. Now, when Gander tells Siegfried about his humiliation the next day, Siegfried offers to help him overcome Gander's powerful wife. Siegfried tells him that the secret of Brunhild's strength is in her girdle and her ring. Once deprived of these things, she would become an ordinary woman. Siegfried and Grimhild soon return to Siegfried's homeland of the Netherlands where he reigns as king for 10 years. Several years pass, Brunhild laments to her husband because Siegfried does not pay respect to Hunter in Burgundy. Siegfried and Grimhild are invited to a large feast hosted by the Burgundians. During the festivities, a fierce dispute breaks out between the queens over their husband's virtues. When Brunhild boasts that Siegfried is merely Gother's vassal, Grimhild tells her the truth and swept away by pride and love, presents the girdle and ring that Siegfried stole from Brunhild. Brunhild sw uh, swears revenge and she intends to assassinate Siegfried with Hagen, Gander's loyal subordinate. Siegfried volunteers to protect Burgundy after Gander pretends that foes are about to invade it. Hagen pursues Grimhild to uncover Siegfried's susceptible point on his shoulder by appearing to be concerned about his reckless courage. Hagen promises to protect this spot from the enemy. The enemy attack does not, of course, materialize, and the royal party goes hunting. After an enjoyable day of sport, Siegfried stops at a spring to take a drink, and Hagen seizes the opportunity to stab him through the vulnerable spot. Siegfried quickly dies. When they saw that he was dead, they laid his body on a golden shield upon which to bear it away. And thereafter, they took counsel as to what should be done. Uh, some tells that a thieves had slain King Siegfried. This ends the first part of the uh, epic. The second chapter is a convoluted and perplexing set of events involving Grimhild's heinous and horrible revenge on, on those who murdered her spouse. To exact her revenge, she marries Edsel. Attila, the king of the Huns, and throws a huge feast for all of her kinsmen, including Hagen. Grimhild drags them into a bloodbath in which tens of thousands are killed. Gunther and Hagen are kidnapped and executed by Grimhild, who is also killed at the conclusion of the epic.